Good morning. Thank you much for the information. <laughs> and I'm happy, Mr. Chairman, because sugar is still free. All right, having said that, I must recognize that protocol has already been established and in place. So as a consequence, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. A big thank you is extended to Jacob for extending this inv invitation to the Jamaica Constabulary Force to be an active participant in this auspicious occasion. On behalf of the Commissioner of Police, the commanding officer, men and women of the Organized Crime Investigations Division, and by extension, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, we wish to place on record that we are deeply honored. It is of note that the relationship with our rights holders is extremely valued at the highest level within the hierarchy of the JCF. And as a consequence, we could not have missed an opportunity like this. It should also be noted that the Jamaica Constabulary Force has always taken a proactive approach to intellectual property rights enforcement. And we pride ourselves as one of the few organizations that have recognized the true value and importance of intellectual property rights especially in Jamaica. Further, the JCF is one of the only police organization in CARICOM which has embedded within its core a unit with specialist trained investigators to deal specifically with intellectual property rights. <laughs> and enforcement matters. How mandate clearly is to ensure that the Copyright and Trademark Acts are properly policed and enforced in Jamaica. Since December 15th of 2015, sorry, of 2013, we have made a conscious decision to upgrade 2013. We have made the conscious decision to upgrade the Intellectual Property Rights Unit and it was placed at a marriage within the Trafficking Person Intellectual Property Rights and Vice Squad. Trafficking Person is the new crime that is really taking over the world. And we noticed that intellectual property rights is also an avenue where money launderers have gone into. So as a consequence, we have done the marriage to ensure that we can tackle the crime more forcefully. This also is to provide the necessary oomp that the force needs in order to deal with the threats of this 21st century crime. To date, we boast the following. We have seized over 5 million copyright infringed DVDs and CDs. We have conducted 60 targeted operations island-wide, 35 persons arrested, 1.6 million plus fines already in court, and several matters are before the court. We're even in court today. We have trained across the Caribbean and in Jamaica 545 police officers. And come December, and we will be inviting the Ed table to our open house, where we'll train more detectives to ensure that this fight is fought properly. It would therefore be remiss of us not to highlight our formidable partners in the fight. In fact, we have partnered with the Jamaica Intellectual Property Rights Office, JIPO, with JAMS, Jamaica Music Society, and JCAP to ensure that all aspects of the laws relating to intellectual property rights are upheld. However, despite our best effort Many promoters of events where music are played do not fully comply with the requirements to pay for permission to play music prior to staging those events. As a consequence, at the highest level in the JCF, there's conversation, documentation sent to all commanding officer, officers sorry, where they have received instructions as how to move this part of the enforcement forward. The JCF wishes also to place on record that we share the legal view that copyright owners have the exclusive rights to use and exploit their creative works. 
Equally, we share the view that copyright owners have the authority to prevent others from using their work without permission. In case you've missed it, copyright is defined as original literary, dramatic, musical, or artistic work, sound recording, film, film broadcast, or cable programs, typographical arrangements of public edition, and it may subsist in work irrespective of its quality or purpose. Therefore, we, as part of our pledge to support intellectual property rights, we wish to put on record that our focus is to move on the illicit assets obtained through criminal means, such as breach of intellectual property rights. We see our task as one of great importance to the region and to Jamaica. And we will, as the JCF, continue to strive for excellence in the delivery of quality service. In essence, as we have it mandated at the Intellectual Property Rights Unit, copyright is our business. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Thank you very much, Deputy Sue.